Hello and welcome to another episode of Dig Small Engines. Now in this episode we're going to have a look at the DPF filter, more commonly known as diesel particulate filters, on your more modern high horsepower machinery. In this instance, it's a John Deere HA 800i terrain cut. And we're going to have a look at why they've come about and how they've come about. So let's get into it. Right, in recent years, with the European, new Euro European laws, uh, the V emissions law, which came about uh, a few years ago, any uh, engine that puts out more than 25 horsepower, in this instance, this is a 55 horsepower engine on this John Deere machine, has to be fitted with a diesel particulate filter, all to reduce emissions from our, from our carbon footprint. Um, so any engine above 25 horsepower has to be fitted with a DPF. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, John Deere brand, Toro, Jacobson, Baroness, have to be fitted with a DPF to comply with the regulations. Now the idea of this DPF or diesel particulate filter is to filter the carbon emissions um, as your machine is running. There is a filter housed within the here. Now this machine can perform three different types of um, generation. An active regeneration, um, a let me think, recovery regeneration, and a parked regeneration. Now what the active regeneration will do as the machine's running is it will be performing a region and and dispersing the carbon emissions out, pushing them out through the exhaust manifold, the exhaust that build up within this filter. A high exhaust temperature indicator on the machine will, will also mean that an active regeneration is being performed whilst operating. This can all be found on your display as you're running the machine, obviously the machines are running now, so we can't see that, but it will it will flag up on here. So high high temperature, uh, exhaust temperature indicator will come on on here as the machine's running, and the machine will perform an active regeneration based on the, the DPF filter. Equally, um, an active regeneration will be performed when there's a build-up of the carbon within the DPF whilst the machine is running, so the machine won't go into idle or limp mode. Um, however, if, if and when the machine is running, the carbon build-up is at such a point, um, then a, let me think, an, a, an active, no, a parked regeneration, sorry, will need to be required, um, performed, which can be done by the operator. Um, it will flag up on this digital display. Obviously, again, it won't now because uh, the machine's not running and the machine will effectively go into idle or limp mode and the operator will have to sit on that said machine um, and perform the regeneration via that digital display and the until it usually takes about an hour until the machine is has performed that regen it won't revert back um up to as it should it will, it will remain in limp mode i'm not over keen on that because obviously you've got downtime on the machinery um you're not being the machine's not being productive which is why i'm not a great fan of these i understand them fully based on reducing the carbon footprint. Um, as like I say, any machine now over 25 horsepower has to have a DPF or diesel particulate filter fitted. Um, this machine's 55 horsepower um, and it's solely to reduce the carbon footprint. Is it, I mean, you, you have these DPFs on uh, lighter diesel vans, vehicles. So I see the logic 
produ productivity wise in the in the industry I mean um, it's it's more of a hindrance so let me know your thoughts on DPF filters and uh, drop a, drop your thoughts down in the comments and uh, we'll uh, I'll have a butcher's on them so until the next one take care to now.